We'll come back to decoded medicine, where we learn the concepts of medicine. Today, I'll be answering the question, why does anemia and pancytopenia occur in multiple myeloma? To answer this question, one needs to understand what's multiple myeloma, what is anemia, and what's pancytopenia, and then form the link between them. You can watch this short clip from my previous video to understand multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma, by definition, is a malignant proliferation of plasma cells that produce abnormal immunoglobulins. In simpler terms, it is a cancer of a particular type of blood cells known as the plasma cells. Now let me explain this to you. You see, all the blood cells originate from a progenitor cell known as the hematopoietic stem cell, which is present in the bone marrow. These hematopoietic stem cells produce the myeloid and the lymphoid progenitor cells. The lymphoid progenitor cells in turn give rise to the T and the B lymphocytes. The B lymphocytes, when they get in contact with a foreign body, then the antigen of the foreign body gets in contact with the B lymphocyte and then the B lymphocyte gets activated due to the exposure with the antigen and then they produce the plasma cells. These plasma cells produce immunoglobulins and these immunoglobulins are the antibodies that help fight off the invading foreign body or the antigen. Normally, the plasma cells produce normal immunoglobulins that can effectively fight off the foreign body. Whereas in multiple myeloma, the plasma cells produce abnormal immunoglobulins that do not effectively fight off the antigens. And also there is a malignant proliferation of the plasma cells. That is, there is a increase in the number of the plasma cells and these plasma cells in turn produce abnormal immunoglobulins so in simple terms multiple myeloma is a cancer of plasma cells that produce abnormal immunoglobulins the term anemia is formed of two word parts which are an meaning without and hema meaning blood. By definition, anemia can be described as a condition where there is a decrease in the RBCs or hemoglobin in the blood. The decrease in RBC or hemoglobin count in the blood can lead to anemia. And it can be defined as the qualitative, that is, the decrease in the function or quantitative that is the decrease in the number of rbcs or hemoglobin that leads to decrease in the capacity of the blood to carry oxygen to organs and tissues basically in regards to this question you need to understand that anemia is a decrease in the rbc count or hemoglobin concentration the term pancytopenia is derived from three word parts, which are pan meaning all, cyto meaning cell, and penia meaning deficiency. It means the deficiency of all cell types in the blood. So in blood, we have RBC, WBC and 
platelets. These are the different types of cells in the blood. And in pancytopenia, all these three types of cells are deficient. So pancytopenia is the decreased number of red and white blood cells and platelets in the blood. As we learned before, in multiple myeloma, as there is a malignant proliferation of plasma cells, there is accumulation of abnormal plasma cells in the bone marrow. Normally, the bone marrow contains various precursor cells of blood and some blood cells. So they have precursors of RBCs, WBCs, and platelets. But in multiple myeloma, there is accumulation of abnormal plasma cells. So as there is a lot of plasma cells in the same area, relatively, there is a decrease in the normal blood forming cells in the bone marrow. So there will be also a decrease in the cells that form RBCs, leading to a decrease in the RBC count that leads to anemia in multiple myeloma. So in multiple myeloma, due to an accumulation of abnormal plasma cells in the bone marrow, there is a relative decrease in the normal blood forming cells in the bone marrow. That is normally in the bone marrow, there are precursor cells, that is cells that help form RBCs, WBCs, and platelets. But because of the decrease in these normal blood forming cells, there is a decrease in the blood cells because their precursors are itself deficient. There is not enough production of the blood cells, leading to a decrease in the total blood cell count. There is, that means there is a decrease in the RBC, WBC, and platelet count, leading to a decrease in the total blood cell count. And that leads to pancytopenia in multiple myeloma. As always, thank you for watching my video. If you found this video helpful, do give a like, leave a feedback in the comments below, share it with your friends and subscribe to support the channel and get updates whenever I post a new video. Until then, happy learning.